What's up guys? So let's go over some few basic things we can do with some simple thing you may have to line around the house. Let's start with the bell. We've got some elastic bands over there, so we're going to move on to those. So let's do just some basic spider guard hip movement with it. So all I'm doing, take my bell, grabbing it at the ends, and all I'm going to do is put my foot feet in it and lift my feet up. Now the goal here I'm going to keep my feet up. I don't want my shoulders to touch. You can like this. That way I'm always fighting. All I'm going to do is bring one in, keep the other one straight, and then switch, then switch. Notice how my knee is coming to the outside of the belt. That's to emulate the arm. Boom. 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 Keep that leg up as high as possible. Boom, 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 boom. So then once we get done with that, let's start working on getting the lasso. So we're gonna start the exact same way. Boom, up. All I'm going to do different is I'm gonna be pulling tight because I want this tight to emulate I've got sleeve grips. Bring it around, hook through, boom. This one's gonna remain up close. Why? Because when you have that arm, you want it trapped and as low to your glutes as possible. So then we switch. In. Circle out. And in. Boom. And then once you get that, we can do it a little faster. Boom. Rotate over for you. And keep in mind, I am still off my shoulders. Right here. Boom. This is gonna help with hip mobility a lot. And then when we come back finally, we're gonna be able to lasso guard people so well, and we can work on a lot of submissions from there and sweeps. So keep in mind, we want this nice and tight the whole time. Boom, I'm up, my shoulders are up. Boom, pulling it all the way through as if I've got the arm. Circle back out, pulling this tight as I can. Boom. Now if you, you're like me, you've got some elastic bands just hanging around the house. I actually modified this little push-up resistance band thing with some longer ones I had for a door pull. So we're going to do the same thing there. It's just going to give me a little bit more resistance. I can put my feet in it, come up, now, when I've got the sleeves, notice how it doesn't move near as much, and that's a lot of work. Boom. But, on the downside, when I get my lasso, it also doesn't move. So, do one. If you've got them, try it. No shame, no game, right? No shame in the game. That's what I meant. Now let's move on to some basic movements we can do. Start with just basic single legs. Right here, hands up, I'm gonna get level. I want my shoulders to line up with their hips. Boom. My lead knee is going to be my penetrating knee. And as I do that, I'm gonna drive. Once I get down this back leg, it's gonna step up. We can do these back and forth. Be gentle if you don't have mats, be on carpet, whichever. Right here, drive, swing up. Turn the other way. Once you get to a motion, you can do it faster. Do it faster. Back forth, back forth. That's the only way we're going to get better. Keeping that in mind, stay on doing your abs. Stay working out your upper body. Stay stretching. Very important to keep flexible. I know a lot of people are out there just hanging out. Taking the free time off. That's when we need to be working on ourselves, making sure we're sharp. That way, when we come back, it's not like we took 10 steps back. Eat clean. You know, avoid junk food if you can. I understand it's not always easy. Sometimes junk food is the fastest option, especially with all the craziness at the grocery store. But if we can just stay on top of it, watch previous two videos, we're going to be in good shape. We're going to come a long way and come back strong. Miss you guys a bunch. I'll see ya.